brothers and sisters of Melanin. I'm doing this brother wisdom here. Taking me a little walk. I uh, want to talk to you about the power numbers. You know, you got all these numbers, numbers zero to nine. Um, it's important that we understand, I'm sorry, understand numbers because numbers represent power. Um, the sun, Solomon, S-O-L-O-M-O-N. Soul is the sun. Om is that. Mm, Om is nanobytes of uh, uh, particles of of uh, energy. So the sun, the sun is the number nine. The sun represents number nine. The number nine rep depicts the ruling number. We are the number nine. The sun is six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons. So we are children of the sun, the ruling number. That's why we're supposed to be ruling our planet right now and not these caucasoids. We've got to step up our games, my people. We got to step up my game. You know, we're supposed to be ruling the planet. Number nine is the ruling number, not these three ether beings. These caucasoids, they're not six ether. They're not that powerful. They're three ether beings because if they were six ether, they'd be able to take they'd be able to take um, the magnetism because uh, six ether beings can take magnetism. But because they are three ether beings, they can only take electricity. They're very low energy, low frequency beings. Okay, so number nine is the highest number in the cosmos. Now you got the number eight, which is um, infinity. Uh, number seven, you know, that's 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 the, the symbol of completion. Your number six is the symbol of high energy. Number five is balance. Number four is um, perfection. Number three is uh, the symbol of the Trinity, body, soul, and mind, uh, body, soul, and spirit. I'm sorry. Uh, body, soul, and spirit, which is the Trinity, three and one. All right. Number two. Is your angelic energy? That's uh, that 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 power, that angelic energy. You know the number two. So anytime you see 11, 11, anytime you see the number eleven, you want to see the number. You want to figure out that's number two. So eleven, eleven is twenty-two. Which twenty-two, two plus two, uh, is four. Which eleven, eleven is a symbol of perfection. All right. Now you got the number one. The number one is the symbol of solitude and judgment, power, um, the final, uh, like the final hour, the number one, you know, that's, that's judgment, 2017, judgment is number one. Now, the most powerful number of all the numbers is zero. Zero is more powerful than nine. Zero is nothingness. Zero is the power to create or to destroy. Zero. The Amen Ra, the unseen energy, is zero. Amen is the unseen energy. Ra is the sun. The unseen energy behind the sun. That's zero. Hey, how you doing? Though, so, you know, she called me Jesus. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, she called me Black Jesus. <laughs> uh, but the zero is the nothingness, the most powerful number of them all. So um, we have to see the power of the numbers. The power of the numbers is, you know, we have to understand. So um, anytime. You're looking at letters. They say, you know, like Solomon, just let's go to the alphabet. You know, we're using these alphabets right now. And you go to the alphabet and you put all you put uh, all, all the, the the letters together because each letter uh, has a number. Each letter has a number. So so you write down all the numbers and then you add up all the numbers and you come to a number one. Uh, and we're gonna figure that out one day. We're gonna, we're gonna I'm gonna um, write down some names or whatever, you know, like they say Yahweh or Joshua. All of these names have numbers behind them, which represents a certain level of power. You know, this this is our ancient knowledge that's been taken away from us. Um, 
the Hebrew language was which um, was a depiction of our original language, which they took from the hieroglyphics and they took from uh, other sources. But uh, the numbers highly powerful for us to understand and to pull to pull out this, the, the pull the energy from these numbers. And uh, we really need to um, go focus on, on these numbers. You know, from zero to nine, they all have a certain level of power. And we have to know how to use this power. But nine being the ruling number, and nine is close to zero. So if nine is the ruling number, we're close to the nothingness. All right, which means that you can zero out or zero in. Now we've got to learn how to do that. We've got to learn how to zero out. And you do that through spirit. You can't zero out your enemies uh, in the physical force. Anytime you have a virus, you can never fight the virus on a physical level. You got to fight the virus on a spiritual level. So if you got a fever, what do you do? You know, like your child's got a fever. You put, um, you get a wet towel and that wet towel's got cold water and that cold water makes the fever go down water is spiritual water is spiritual so water represents the number zero nothingness the unseen energy you can't see the energy in the in the in the water you can't see it zero the the, the wind represents zero nothingness energy represents zero fire behind the fire is the unseen energy it represents zero behind our planet earth the number zero nothingness this is why we must be in spirit because spirit represents the number zero which is pure nothingness which means you gives you the absolute power to destroy and to create the number zero destroys and creates but number nine is the ruling bodies so the number nine in our flesh we're six protons six neutrons and six electrons the number nine in the flesh the ruling body and the sun is our god is our so when no matter what kind of religion our people are in once they see the sun they go out to the sun why because we are children of the sun no matter what because our spirits you know our bodies uh, our, our people bodies are running after a religion but your spirits are running after the, the, the true energy which is the sun this is why we must increase our meditation because meditation it represents the number zero nothingness the power to destroy and to create this is why we must understand numerology from zero to nine zero being all powerful nine being all powerful our enemies are three ether beings they have no power the little bit of electricity that they do that they do have they depend on us to survive everyone who doesn't possess melanin is an enemy we've got to change our diet got to change our diet nothing but vegetation get rid of the meat because meat destroys everything that we work so hard uh, and, and put forth alright brothers and sisters the power of the numbers all power to the people of melanin